So starting this month in September of 2020, Teslas are gonna get a little louder. Now, as you can hear, or not hear, there's no sound coming from this car, but that is quickly about to change. As you saw, we didn't hear anything when David was backing this car up, but all that is about to change because EVs, all of them, this is not just Tesla, will require that pedestrian warning system speaker to be installed in September of 2020. Several years ago, the United States came out with a law that was requiring electric vehicles to make a certain amount of noise below a certain speed. Yeah. And unfortunately, the law is only for electric vehicles, even though gas cars could conceivably be quiet as well. Yeah. It's a law that only you know singles out electric cars. But anyways, th there are some delays and they made it so that as of September 2019, at least 50% of cars uh, by a manufacturer had to have that pedestrian noisemaker installed. But by September 2020, all 100% of EVs need to have that pedestrian noisemaker. And so far we broke news actually of this pedestrian warning speaker back in 2018 in November when we picked up our uh, performance which is now a race car model 3 but S and X and Y have not had those yet and now they're gonna have to start. For the November of 2018 Model 3, we discovered there was a speaker grill at the mm -hmm. bottom of the car, but there was no wiring and no speaker installed inside. Yep. Later in 2019, we took delivery of an SR Plus at the beginning of September, produced either beginning of September or end of August. Again, speaker grill, no speaker. But then a couple weeks later, we took the delivery of a long range all wheel drive all -wheel Model drive. 3. It did have the speaker with the speaker grill, of course. And, and it was very loud. And it was very loud. It was annoying because very I could hear loud. it every morning. It was like a hundred, over a hundred feet away. I could hear that car. There's no reason really, I mean, okay, there's a law, but it was annoying that it was that Besides loud. Besides the law, there's no- It, it was louder than yeah. a regular car. and and. And unfortunately, it wasn't customizable. Right. And while Elon has tweeted that that will be customizable, maybe you can have the, the coconut clapping sounds, or you can play snake jazz, or, or all kinds of other customized sounds, that doesn't exist yet. It doesn't exist yet. It was super obnoxious when we first had it in our Model 3, so we actually used a little, uh, it's not literally a cheat device, it's just like a plug to make sure that the connectors stay safe and everything like for weather right? and yeah. all that. So we actually did that. I'll post that video up above. It probably took like five minutes to do. Uh, and that was something that you can do for like $10 through the Abstract Ocean website, buy those pieces. And that way we don't hear it. And it didn't throw any errors or anything. Now, this Model Y we actually picked up in June of 2020. It actually has the wiring. We have seen it. And the one that we picked up in March of 2020, we have since sold it, that one also had the wiring. Had the wiring as well. And the grill's there. Still and no we noticed that with Tesla's Model 3 too though, is they put the grill and everything in there far before the actual speaker. So it must've just been how the lineup of parts went. But we've been curious to know, can the Model Ys be retrofit with that? We have the wiring. We don't have the speaker in there. So what we did do is bought a speaker and we're gonna try that out because I'm curious to see, can you do this should you want to? Since the wiring's there, the grill's there, yep. this most of the parts on the Y are very similar or the same as a Model yep. 3. I think it would work, but you never know because the yep. firmware has to support it. But and I think it should be in there. Update. It should be in there because yep. starting Tuesday, which is September 2020, yeah. it should be there. It's and August 30th. So it's possible Dave cars Dumbling. it's it's co possible cars being delivered this week were produced before in August yeah. or before and so those cars might not have it but sometime in the month of September we're these cars these. cars produced in September should have that according to the law. Yeah, so let's go ahead and see if we can plug this in and will it even work? Now, at the end of the day, we're not keeping it in the car because I'm not a huge fan of them anyway, but I know a lot of people have reached out and been like, "Hey, I want that." How can I do that? So the part itself from Tesla was I think like 58 or 78 bucks. It's something you can install yourself though. I don't really think you need to pay Tesla to do that. So this is the Model 3 pedestrian noise making speaker. It's actually the pedestrian warning speaker Model 3. It is part number 129965-00-A. And we just picked this up. We ordered it from a local service center. It's not a restricted part or anything. It is for the Model 3. We're gonna try it on the Model Y. It's probably gonna be the same one they're gonna use on the Model Y. But basically it was interesting when I took this little uh, 
sticker off of here, I can see this part was actually made in September of 2019. So this pedestrian noisemaker speaker could date back to that first batch of speakers that Tesla ordered when they first started installing the speaker on the Model 3 last year. Yep. So we uh, just got the frunk taken out. It's literally two bolts in the bottom, two bolts right in the top here, a little pop nut right here, and then you just need to pop out where the emergency release button is, and it is out. Now, our wiring is kind of down there, so I'm gonna have to try to fish it out. I just thought through the frunk might be a, a little easier to show you guys, and then that way we can hear it a little bit better than just having it kind of dangle down there. As you can see, it just has places to install via three screws, and on the bottom of it, it has this like foam insulation ring, so when you install it onto the speaker grill at the bottom of the car, that'll make it more waterproof, so water can't get in there. One other interesting point on here on the speaker front, it says 25 watts, which seems like a lot of power for, lot. for such a small speaker, but... Yeah. Maybe they plan to do other things with this. We never know. Or Tesla's maybe... pretty fun like that. Uh, but I just uh, took this wire out, just down here, taped together. If yours has the wire, you'll be able to see it. And see, here is where the speaker wire plugs in directly. And it locks in. Locks in. So now we can uh, go for a drive, I guess. So uh, go ahead and give it a drive and see if it makes noise. No noise. Okay, maybe go forward, no noise. Nope, no noise. Okay, so David had a good point, so we went ahead and plugged the unit back in. We're gonna try doing a double scroll wheel reset, restart, so that that way we give it as best chance of like possible of recognizing that speaker to see if it will come on or not. So let's uh, do that real quick. Okay, screen went black. It's working. It's working, so it was the reboot was required. It was the reboot. Okay, so it works. Oh yeah, we just need to reboot. So we just stuck it up here at the top. This is not the official install location, but we, we just wanted to make sure it would work. And as you can hear, it sounds kind of eerie, like something from a UFO. Like well. Yeah, but when you go in reverse, it is very annoying. And about forward, go forward. There's some white noise there going on. So everybody's commute car is going to be making that noise in the coming days. Okay, so it does work. Um, it it's annoying as hell, so yeah. we're getting rid of it. I'm glad we proved that it does work. It, it didn't make sense yeah. to me that a, a simple speaker wouldn't work by just plugging it in. It, it, it works. And now it's raining, so we gotta, we'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I uh, just got the car back in the garage. It started to hail. Yikes, we're okay. <laughs> Uh, Car's okay. <laughs> just had a quick freak out. This could be the first Model Y with a pedestrian noise making speaker. First Model Y with a pedestrian noise making speaker. I'm not that happy about it though. We're not, so. Yeah, we don't want to brag about it. <laughs> it's only and it's only going to be there for a day. Yeah, but it might be. The but first. it is. Um, so there you have it. If you do want to install this on any of your Teslas that might have the wiring but not the speaker, you can just double scroll wheel reset once you hook it up and confirm it's working. But it is in our case, so that's actually kind of cool. Um, but yeah, again, if you don't want it, which I have a feeling most people won't, or at least not until Tesla will allow us to modify that noise, uh, you can purchase that kit from Abstract Ocean. It installs very, very easily and is only like 10 bucks. So it's super cheap and everything. And so that a kit, again, is for those yeah. of you who have the speaker and don't want it, exactly. you want to remove it, you don't have the cover that goes on the wiring. So their yeah. kit waterproofs that. So I'm willing to bet that any Model Y produced has the wiring in there because we had took one, exactly. one of the first Model Ys that was like less than 1500 on the VIN back in March. Yep. And so I'm pretty sure all Model Ys have the wiring. Be interesting to see when do the S and X get this because they're supposed to be having it in September I mean, as well. And we haven't seen ticking. any reports of that yet. No, so if you take any delivery of a new S or X and actually notice that, definitely drop it in the comments below. And the interesting tidbit is that's the Model 3 part number because Model Y doesn't have that part number listed in the part catalog right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that though. Comment down below, is the noisemaker something that you would want? Or are you somebody who, if you have the noisemaker, would prefer the kit from Abstract Ocean to be able to mute that, at least in the meantime until they allow you to customize that. As always though, huge thank you to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean, 
if you are looking to accessorize your model sx3 or y much like this one definitely check them out all linked down below and using code tesla inventory will get you 15 percent off of your first purchase our two must-have accessories are definitely going to be a center console wrap or even the carbon fiber effect shell really helps protect that piano gloss material that tesla uses from getting scratched showing dust anything like that and really makes your car your own another accessory that we absolutely love is the matte screen protector they have them for sx3 and y and we have them on every single one of our cars and absolutely love it really cuts down any glare from the sun and hides a lot of fingerprints as well as having an oleophobic surface to avoid getting fingerprints in the first place so definitely check them out all linked down below as always though a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones and we'll see you guys in the next one bye once they do come out with the ability what sound would you put in i want the dumb and dumber most annoying sound in the world what's that Ha <laughs> ha